drew on 10 years history of working in mobile health units. Um, we consulted widely with, our, with surgical colleagues, with OT specialists, to make sure that we were getting this right. We looked at the equipment that was required, the lighting that was required, the environmental controls. Um, we looked at the infectious, infection control standards that were required and put them, putting them all together in a space that was mobile, that was durable and that exceeded national standards. So now that we've had the unit deployed in the field, we've had surgeons, anaesthetists and their teams working it, the feedback is that we've achieved our aim. That is to deliver a state-of-the-art unit um, that exceeds their expectations. The mobile surgical unit will make a huge difference at Moray Hospital. Um, previously when we've had renovations done at the hospital, we have had to actually shut down our emergency and our elective surgery. So it really makes a difference with our waiting list um, targets. We um, still have to meet all the targets that New South Wales Health um, actually give us. And overall, it's just going to make the perioperative nurse's life um, much better because we're going to be able to still provide a service to the community. We have Australian standards that, that govern how we actually practice as perioperative nurses and also how we um, have ventilation systems in the health service, how we actually have filtration systems, how we sterilise things. And this mobile health unit meets every standard. It actually goes over and above the standards. To have like, theatre lights that are state of the art, you know, you can see to do your procedures better. The benefits to the community, we just can't measure that. Because to be without a, an operating room service at a hospital for 18 to 20 weeks just can't happen. Like it could mean a person could die. This unit will save lives.